Hello, my friends. Andrew at Microphonic Designs here to tell you that today is a good day because any day that you get a box from Sweetwater Sound is a good day. So let's see what we got. ISO pucks, some extra cables, ISO puck minis, focus right interface, oh, and the heft of the package. Gator Frameworks clamp on studio monitor stands. Oh, so heavy. So, yeah, some absolutely great stuff. Uh, just some small things to upgrade my studio space. I mean, so far, you know, I've had my Yamaha HS7s just on some bed stand uh, or bed frame stands, <laughs> which has been a little silly. It's got them up off the desk, but, um, you know, it's time to actually have real monitor stands so again i'm super thankful for the stuff i already have but it's definitely time to get that scarlet in there again i've been using that akai interface i don't know if you can really really see it right there with the uh puzzle cube on top <clears throat> so very very excited to get this stuff uh set up and have a little bit better listening environment a little more official uh, of an interface and I've heard really great things about the Isopox. So I'm going to get started and set all this gear up. And there we have it. It definitely took me a while to piece all of this together and get behind, you know, the, the rack, the rack space that I made. And the studio monitor stands definitely, definitely cleared up a ton of desk space. So much so that I was actually able to uh, get my Technics turntable back out and sort of in a more appropriate place where I can more easily sample stuff from it. And I was also able to get the ISO pucks under the monitors, which have really made a difference. I mean, a lot of folks will say they don't do anything, but I think that you definitely have to have, you know, the, the full package, right? The, the acoustic treatment on the walls and the bass traps and everything. I also put the other like full-sized ISO pucks. So I've got the minis under the two Yamaha monitors up top. And then I've got the regular sized ISO pucks underneath my subwoofer. And I actually had to cut a plank of wood <laughs> into four to get those up off the carpet. And it just sounds so great. So thanks so much for tuning in and hanging out with me, checking out some of the small upgrades I've made to my space. If you yourself need mixing or audio editing or voiceover work or composition, get at me. Uh, I do a lot of stuff. I'm getting into many different areas and I'm so excited about all of it. So if you haven't just yet, take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel uh, to support everything that I'm doing. I'm so sincerely thankful for all that. And also hit the like on this video if you enjoy audio gear as much as I do. Because uh, I know that I've definitely probably spent a little bit too much money on everything. But again, I'm thankful to have what I have. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Later.